All right, let's do something we like to call social media check-in. Charlie Wilson on YouTube asks, I have a friend who has been issued a DV visa, but subject to PP10014. Uh, do you, so I guess that's the passport? I have no idea what 10014 uh, well, do you think, means. Okay, do you think even if Trump loses, uh, will he extend the ban? Secondly, what is the best time to purchase a ticket? Well, he could extend the ban all he wants, but if he loses, he's not the president on January 7th, and Biden, I'm sure, will have a lot to say about immigration bans after January 7th. Vanessa. Yes. P. Dave 305 on YouTube. What is the adjustment of status timeline for an asylee? Over, over a year to three years, but if it's more than a year, you should be filing a mandamus. Okay, Debbie Ann Greatness Lindo on Facebook asks, I've been married for two years, but my husband hasn't filed taxes in forever. How do I file that way? You want your husband to file for you, but start by filing back taxes for your husband and joint for the last two years. And if you can't afford to pay your taxes, enter into a payment plan or try to negotiate your tax debt down. There's lots of lawyers who do that. Sam British on Facebook. My VAWA was recently approved. However, my green card status for request for evidence has not moved since February of 2019. What can I do to expedite this? Uh, how, long, how long has the VAWA been approved since? Uh, it, he just says it was approved. Rec it was recently approved. So if it was recently approved, then you got to wait about a year to adjust your status. So just hang in there. Um, okay, Brad. You know we read in all questions. Yes. Adnan on Instagram asks, "What will happen to immigrants if Biden wins? What if Trump wins?" What will happen to immigrants? We'll all still be here if Trump wins, and we'll all still be here if Biden wins. But if Biden wins, the presumption is that there may be immigration reform. The big issue is that if the Democrats don't take the Senate, we may have a situation where we have a House of Representatives that wants immigration reform, a president wants immigration reform, and it being blocked by the Senate. So we don't know. We'll see what happens. Right. Okay, this one comes from Anthony on Facebook. My friend has a claim for derivative U.S. citizenship He's about 45 now, so he falls under the old immigration law, INA 321. Uh, his mother became a U.S. citizen when he was about 15 years old. At that time, he was a permanent resident. His mother never married his father, but his father's name is on his birth certificate. Does he have to claim to U.S. citizenship? Yes. Carol Reed on Facebook asks, how long does it take for an adjustment status to be approved through marriage? I did my interview in November 2018 in Virginia, and every time I call, they're still saying reviewing the case. That means they're going to give you a Stokes interview. You probably need to do a mandamus. Uh, anonymous, can you change your job on an F-1 visa while USCIS approval is still pending for STEM extension? Yes. Earl Eugene, hello, on YouTube asks, if a charity organization pays my friend's hospital bill without her knowledge, will it stop her from entering the USA when she's ready to come back to the U.S.? No, she's fine. Uh, Miloslava Mikov on YouTube. Oh, wait, that's the following one. God is merciful on YouTube. Can I submit the current I-485 that is on USCIS's website? The expired date is 10-31-2020. Whatever the most recent one on the USCIS website, use it. Okay, Miloslav Minkov on YouTube uh, asked, my vowel was filed in 2015, approved in 2019, but still no AOS interview. How long does it usually take? One to two years. This one also came from Milo's on YouTube. What do you think will be the future of immigration in the U.S.? I think we're <laughs> all going to be okay. I promise you. I think hey, we're man. all going to be okay. Yo, yo. Oh, we like that. All right. DZ Infos on YouTube asks, I had an admin uh, closed re removal proceeding case, and I left the U.S. Now I'm requesting an IR1 visa. Do I need a waiver for the admin closed removal case, or am I going to get denied for that? You self-deported, so you need a 212 waiver, and maybe you even need a 601 waiver if you uh, overstayed by more than a year. 
Kelsey Thompson on YouTube. I studied abroad for two semesters, five months each. I put my foreign addresses on my N-400 application. Will this affect me? Yes, if you were out of the country for more than six months to follow your citizenship, yeah. James uh, Doob on YouTube asked, hey, Brad, I have uh, applied for an SB1 visa and passed the first interview. The embassy just told me they can't process my application due to presidential proclamation 10014. Wouldn't I qualify for an exception? Well, there, there are national interest exceptions. I would argue that you're a permanent resident of the United States, but um, certainly uh, it's worthwhile for to give us a call. Mimi Suri on YouTube, can someone in custody request to return to their country of origin in master hearing asylum proceedings and cancel slash revoke slash withdraw the claim? You could always leave and self-deport. It's perfectly fine. Okay, Michael George on YouTube asked, I got my green card recently through marriage. I withdrew my asylum case recently. Is it any trouble applying for a passport from my birth country? You should not have a problem. Uh, Village Ram on YouTube, I have an approved VAWA. My C31 work permit is about to expire. Do I have to pay for another C31 card? No, you should get it for free. Moton Rayo, Doru Dula, uh, asks, what documents do I need to file for my stepchild in Nigeria? Your marriage certificate to prove that you married the, the spouse. I'm not sure if this is a man or woman asking that you married your spouse before the child turned 18, the child's birth certificate, which would indicate that your spouse who you're married to is the mother or father of that child, along with any divorce decrees uh, terminating prior marriages that your marriage is legal. Plus proof you're a citizen. Shirley Smith on YouTube, when will the embassy in Nigeria open up? My husband's interview was waived because of the virus. I don't know. Mel Byrne on Facebook asks, my sister submitted our mom's paperwork to NVC after getting the I-130 approved. She called for an update and was told she needs to complete the presidential proclamation. Can you please tell me what and where this is? You don't complete a presidential proclamation. Trump completed the presidential proclamation. What they're saying is she's not eligible for her green card until January 1st when the proclamation is over. Salman Mohammed on Facebook had a Stoke interview in April 2019 and today I received the RFE for Just Medicals. The letter states that the that they need RFE to make a final decision on my case. Is 485 approved after sending medicals? Sounds like it, congratulations. Awesome. B on Facebook asked, I applied for the N-400 as a bride. However, while I was waiting and the application was in process, my husband asked for a divorce. How do I prepare for the N-400 interview now? You're, well, you're getting, you're getting, I don't know what you mean by bride. If, if, you're well, say, if you're saying you're basing it on three years of a bona fide marriage, you're not entitled to a green card anymore. If you're saying... I filed and I was married and now I'm getting divorced and I had nothing to, I'm filing based on five years of a green card. Well, then it's bringing proof that you're going through a divorce. I don't think it really affects it. Zach Latif Rahman on Facebook. If living with my spouse, how do I add him to show financial support by electric, uh, electronic bill and to a joint account if his passport is expired? How do you put joint documents together? I don't. I, you got to speak to each particular, you know, utility. I, I don't. I don't know. I can't tell you. Use this document for Con Edison or whatever. Uh, try to try to add him on. And if not, when you file your adjustment, he'll get a social security number and a work permit, and then you'll add him on. Okay, Dora Explorers on Facebook asked, is there any implication for an LPR who has been out of the country for six months due to COVID? Yes, if you've been out of the country for more than six months, you they have a right to question whether you've given up your permanent residence, COVID or no COVID. Baja Edio on Facebook, I have an admin closed case on removal proceeding and I'm outside of the U.S. now applying for an IR1 visa. Do I need a waiver for that? What, what happened? Say it again. 
Um, they have an admin closed yes, case yes, of I removal think, yeah, proceedings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they self-deported, so they need a waiver. Uh, two more. Hey, Joan Ambitious Powell on Facebook asks, can my husband do an adjustment of status for my son who's over 21 and is on an F-1 visa? If there's an I-130 approved and his priority date is current, but that takes about five years. Last one comes from Marge Higgs. My friend's Vava, VAWA has been approved over two years. Her husband is a green card holder. She has a pending adjustment. Should she be worried? Is this too long? No, she should be okay. Two years. She'll be okay. Why, why her adjustment takes two years, I don't know. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.